Native Americans from across the Southwest have also voiced their concerns about losing Sanders as a candidate. United in support of the Clinton campaign, reporter Joey Carrera is live in Philadelphia with the Vice President of the Navajo Nation. We have Jonathan Nez, Vice President of the Navajo Nation, joining us tonight to discuss what he expects to hear from Hillary Clinton's acceptance speech this evening. Jonathan, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank so, you. So earlier this week, I visited with some Arizona delegates who were from Native American tribes, and we discussed issues uh, such as health care, education, sovereignty, and the environment. So I want to know, what are you expecting to hear from Hillary Clinton? What sort of issues that impact your community? Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you, Joey, for the opportunity. It's not about tribal communities. It's for all people throughout the United States. As a fellow Arizonan, you know that we're all in this together. And tonight, I, I would be expecting Hillary to bring the party together, the Democratic Party together, and to move forward, not backwards. Under a Trump administration, you know, we would just go backwards. So I think a lot of the Indian tribes throughout the United States of America are looking at this election as very, very important. So many of the tribal nations are getting out the vote, making sure that people are going to be voting for a Democrat, in this case, putting Hillary Clinton in the White House. Because there's a lot of things that, that the Obama administration has done uh, in regards to treaty obligations to honor those treaty rights, also the government-to-government -government relationship with tribes. And we see that that's going to continue under a Hillary Clinton administration. But under a, uh, a Donald Trump administration, God knows what's going to happen. I'm fearful. I think tribes need to be, understand that this is a critical time in history that we get out the vote. So earlier this week as well, we saw the Bernie Sanders protest, and in that protest, there were quite a few delegates that were Native American, and they were from the Pacific Northwest, and they were quite uh, dissatisfied with Hillary Clinton as a nominee. They said that they don't, she doesn't really, you know, listen to what their needs are. So what do you say to Native Americans who are kind of torn, whether, you know, they still want Bernie or if they want Hillary Clinton? Well, you know, last night, President Obama gave an excellent speech. It was one of those speeches that just, he just knocked it out of the ballpark. And he's going to be the one that's saying, he mentioned tribes last night, and he's going to be the one that takes that next step into his private sector, as he was saying last night, and also helping out tribal communities, people of color, and mobilizing them to the poll. And I see that happening this time around. And the Bernie supporters, we love you all. We appreciate your, your enthusiasm, and you guys are really changing the DNC as we're speaking. And we appreciate you all. I know Bernie's been saying great things about tribal nations. So did Obama last night, Biden. And I'm going to be expecting Hillary Clinton to mention Native American tribes tonight as well. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us this evening and all of your insightful answers. It was a great time having you, so I appreciate it. Hey, thank you, Joey. Thank you. Live in Philadelphia, I'm Joey Carrera, Cronkite News.